Hello everybody and welcome back to G-Bears Off Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And I hope the wind isn't bothering you. I've got my windproof mic on, but I'm looking directly into the wind. And it's blowing pretty good. It's up in the 20s, uh, 20s miles per hour range. But uh, that's okay, make it electricity. My exercise area, I gotta get out there and do some exercise. But uh, the temperatures have cooled down. It's only going up in the uh, upper 80s during the day, so um, and dropping down into the 60s at night. And that's normal. That's that's what we should be getting. So feeling really good. There's really no prediction of any rain today, uh, but there is some cloud buildup over there, and uh, looks like. Earlier, it looks like they got some rain in the mountains there and some rain in the mountains there. But uh, these white puffy clouds, uh, they, they might, if they do anything, they might just drizzle over me as they go by. Anyway, got my water delivery today. And up here, I took 2,900 gallons, 2,900 gallons. Now the truck that came today was only a 3,800 gallon truck. So uh, there wasn't much that I could do about that, but that's, you know, they only have two trucks. And uh, the 3,800 gallons was a lot of water. So the black tank is filled right up to the cover. I mean, literally, it's topped off. But I was filling up, you see the garden hose that's running here. I had that connected down inside of my garage directly to my pump. So while he was filling up my black tank, I was pumping water out of the black tank and into the blue barrels. So the blue barrels are um, about half to two thirds full. And uh, that get out of the uh, 2,500 gallons in the main tank and 400 gallons in the blue barrels, that made up my 2,900 gallons. And you can see the water truck tracks here. Uh, nice tires, they had brand new tires on the thing. But anyway, I got them down here to my garden house and unloaded the last 900 gallons in the five totes to the left of the garden house. And uh, we'll, we'll take a walk over there and take a look at that. Um, the rains I did get, I did get outside with my squeegee when I was getting those light rains earlier this month. And uh, I, I squeegeed off all my panels so they're nice and clean and I'm really getting some good electricity out of them now. I mean, by Seven, between 7.30 and 8, I'm already up in the 13.1, uh, 13.2 uh, volt area. So yeah, they're, they're doing just uh, perfect on what they're supposed to be doing. All right, so here's what we got on the five totes. That's 900 gallons. And uh, as you can see, a little over half full. So I can, I can hold um, almost uh, 1,600 gallons, in, I think, in this group right here. But I did want to let it cut off a little soon because I, I wanted to make sure that the, um, the bracing that I put underneath it was strong enough to hold all of this weight. And remember, we got a little over 8 pounds per gallon, and there's 900 gallons here. So... We're, we're talking over two tons, two and a quarter tons of weight sitting right there right now. And that's not including the totes and the piping and all that stuff. But anyway, as you can see, it worked out just fine. Now I've got some floating um, algae in this one. And I left my ladder here. So tomorrow morning, one of the things I'll be doing is coming down here and I got a an old pair of uh, long tongs uh, for barbecuing and stuff. And I use those to reach in and grab that stuff 
and I just toss it under the bush like this and the bushes like it they'll they'll eat up that algae well I was hoping that there would I was going to get the 4,000 gallon truck so I could have uh, also put some in this tank but uh, that's okay the spare room on these I doubt if I'm going to use that much water this late in the year but uh, hopefully the rains will come through the uh, the fall and the winter and I'll be able to collect some water off of my cabin and my uh, garage and uh, shipping containers and then I just transfer that water down into these and fill these all the way up I'll be fine going all the way into the spring with the water delivery I just got now this is the old manifold which was inch and a half the two inch works a lot better I sure like that two inch manifold um, what I did was uh, I dropped the, the hose in the first tank here and we filled it all the way up and when this one was filled right to the top all the others were filled about to this range right here okay so that's uh, like 200 liters or uh, 50 gallons each so what I did then was I switched the hose over to the second tank and we continued filling by the time that filled all the way up and shut off that was the end of the water all of this stuff had equaled out to the same level so that worked out perfect I got it got the truck out of here as fast as I could and uh, I gave him some grapes off the grapevine and to munch he really enjoyed those new driver today brand new driver and uh, I do want to thank him for um, being such a nice person of course I always tip the drivers a $20 bill after they make my delivery so he's uh, he's happy with a little extra um, cash in his pocket for cover his lunch and whatever he said he had one more load to deliver after he left here and then he was done for the day so I don't know we'll see uh, if I if I get more totes and I get set up to where I can handle another 3,800 gallons of water, I will probably order it and um, take that um, into storage so that I'll be going for a long way because my plan is I do have um, a timer I got from, uh, that, that sprinkler timer I got from my customers and friends uh, Randy and Janet from back in the OC and for those of you who don't know what the OC is that's Orange County California but uh, they gave me a, uh, a, a an old controller from their sprinklers because they had everything upgraded to a new system so I have that and I'm thinking about setting that up and it does have a moisture probe connection on it so I'm going to set that up inside of my garden house and I'm going to have the moisture probe in the soil so it'll automatically water my plants when they need water and that's one less thing I have to worry about and if they don't need water if the ground is wet and um, they've got adequate water the um, water sensor automatically bypasses that days of watering so hopefully that'll work and I got to get the rest of the um, greenhouse put together, get ready for the end of the year, and we'll be fine from there. I do have a heck of a lot of birds that have been hanging out here. And uh, interesting about the doves, uh, the morning doves, they, uh, they hang out here every morning and every afternoon. And normally, September 1st through the 15th is... Uh, uh, doves dove hunting season in California and the doves for some reason usually know that and they all fly south to Mexico to get away from that so you'll see hundreds of doves around and then all of a sudden on the first of September you don't see any it's strange uh, they've learned over the years what their uh, hunting season time is but here they know there's no threat of them being shot so they hang around my place and they drink out of the bird feeder and they, or eat out of the bird feeder 
Well, they can't get up to the bird feeder, but these little birds will get up there and as they're eating, they drop seed on the ground and the uh, dove run around underneath and eat that. And every now and then a, uh, a desert ground squirrel will be seen there munching on that too. All right, everybody, that's what we got. As you can see, it looks like uh, some pretty nice puffy clouds. There's some really big ones building up on the horizon down there. But uh, there, again, there's no forecast for any water or moisture at all here today. Uh, got to get my flag down and replaced. It's gotten uh, shredded over the winds. But uh, it's time. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Don't forget thumbs ups down there. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And questions and comments all the way down below. Uh, I enjoy those uh, questions and comments, and I usually try to respond to everybody in a timely manner. Unless it's some, some idiot uh, with some stupid stuff. Every now and then you get those trolls. All right. Thanks for joining me, everybody. This is G-Bear signing off.